Made for Speed is uh, a very cool racing movie. Um, this is a movie, uh, it looks like it's a Fast and Furious clone, but uh, unlike Fast and Furious, which is really a cop movie in disguise, this is all about cars going down the road as fast as possible, and the plot is never about anything else than that. Uh, this moment, in particular, it does a very weird Hitchcock uh, tunnel vision type thing where it, it messes with the depth of field in, uh, in real time. And it really uh, gives this tunnel sucking feel uh, that is very good in 3D, works so well in 3D, and they do it many times throughout this movie. And it's just a wonderful 3D moment. Now, there is a little bit more exposition in this movie than I perhaps needed. Um, however, the 3D here is done very well. So when you're in these moments of when they're just standing around talking about things, uh, it, is, um, it is still engaging. Um, there is one scene in particular where I was just found myself focused on the buttons on, um, on one of the characters' shirts, uh, almost like taking in paintings at an art gallery. Um, the 3D, though it's a conversion, is often that engaging. However, these shots of looking outside the car um, are terrific. Um, it's really, this movie shows you lots of looking down the road views, um, lots of uh, out into the distance uh, views, uh, lots of shots of cars, and, uh, and notice how they get the glare on the window and integrate that to the 3D. That works so well in the context here. I found the plot actually similar to a, a mafia movie. There are multiple competing organizations, but they form their own society of insiders um, concerned with racing now. Not out to hurt anyone, but it's an acceptable risk. I like that the movie touches on that and gives it a Bonnie and Clyde feel. Why wasn't this movie a bigger deal? It starred Aaron Paul at the height of Breaking Bad's run. Aaron Paul, he gives that glaring look that uh, works so well for him on that show. In this movie, though, I found it made him unlikable. Uh, there's many great actors here. Um, here is uh, Dominic Cooper, who played uh, Freddie Mercury. And uh, though they don't give him too much to do, he does have this uh, uh, ridiculous moment. And Michael Keaton, I was surprised to see. His name is not on the uh, cover. Um, and he is, does an extremely animated uh, bit part. And the room he's in actually works fantastically in 3D. He really pops out uh, when they cut to him. And uh, it was a nice surprise to see him in there. Uh, I've read that the 3D version was generally only shown in Europe, uh, which is strange. Um, and as far as I can tell, it's the 3D version was only ever released on Blu-ray in Europe. Uh, you will find that it is region-coded, like um, most Blu-rays that are made by E1 Entertainment um, are region-coded. I'm talking about 3D editions. Um, for other companies, they tend to leave the 3D editions uh, alone in that regard. That means you won't be able to play it on a typical North American player. Look at this glass. Look at that glass. Isn't that fantastic? Look at the detail they put into converting that. That's, that's just a fantastic uh, example of things they pull off in this movie. But mostly you're going to see stuff like this. Cars rolling down the road. And it's it's a lot of fun. It's terrific. It does have some gaps between uh, between the action, especially at the beginning, but it pays off. Uh, it is uh, it is a worthy addition to any three D collection.